On this edition of NFC Tags 101 How-To Videos, I'm going to show you how to create an NFC tag using one of these Andy Tags NFC Tags to uh, that will link to a specific address, um, possibly to a business address. It's probably what you're going to want to use it for, but you could also use it to uh, link people to your home address for a party or something as well if you wanted to. So we're going to turn my phone on, and first thing we're going to do is open Google Maps. And we're going to enter the address that uh, we want to share. Um, I already have it up here because I entered it before. So I'm just going to tap that and bring it up. That's 1255 Seward Street, which is an apartment building I used to live in. I don't live there anymore, so feel free to stalk it all you want to. Now on Google Maps, if you hit the little button, uh, now this is just an apartment building. It's not a store or anything. so that button will show up regardless of whether it's residential or not and then I'm going to click the share button and all these options are going to come up for me now you could share this to anything that takes in information and then copy and paste it into any NFC app that uh, handles your URLs and almost all of them will it's a very basic thing but simply because NFC by Moo was smart enough to integrate this directly into their app, that's what I'm going to use, NFC by Moo. So I'm going to tap on that, and that opens uh, NFC by Moo to write a URL. Now obviously the way Google does it, Google Maps also sent the address with uh, the URL, because if you were sending that as a text message, you'd probably want to include both. But we're going to delete the address information, because uh, we're just going to write a URL to a tag. So now you see that uh, it's there. Still says invalid URL specified, but that's because of what was in there before. Now we have just a straight up URL. Let me get a little close up of that. If my uh, camera will focus in. There we go. So you can see that's the Google Maps URL for that specific location. So down here on the bottom, I'm going to click Add Info to My Card which is another way that Moo uses to basically say write the info because you're not actually adding it, you're replacing whatever's on there with this. And it reminds you of that when you click that button. It says remember you'll be overwriting whatever's already on there. So we're going to click write. And I'm going to use this uh, Andy Tags, in tag 203 tag, uh, which is uh, uh, has plenty of memory for this use. I'm going to tap it to the back and you see it says success. So now we're going to exit out of NFC by Moo. We're going to exit out of Maps. In fact, let's uh, just for fun, let's go somewhere totally different. Just so we know that it's not taking us uh, uh, just opening Maps to where we already were. Now, anyone clicks or clicks, anyone taps that NFC tag. Their phone has NFC, it's going to read it that it's a URL and it's going to open the URL. And because it's an Android phone, it's going to give the option to open it up in your browser or in Google Maps. Now, if they didn't have Google Maps, maybe they don't have an Android phone, they have another NFC phone, then uh, it would probably just open it up in their browser but still take them to the location. But since Android phones are the coolest, we can click. Google Maps and it'll open up in Google Maps and there we go right there at the exact location we specified even has the address at the bottom so even though the address wasn't included in the text because this was just a URL link that URL from Google um, also tells them what the address is um, that it's an exact location it's not a roundabout location so uh, very simple, very easy way to create an NFC tag to maybe take people to your place of business or if you want to, to your house. And uh, that's, all, that's all you need to do. And just grab some cool Andy Tags NFC tags and uh, record the info on there and people can tap that and find out exactly where they need to go.